All right, thanks for watching, guys. The story starts off very simple, just two high school boys trying to record a record. Me, Hector Martinez, and Rudy Sanchez, acting like fools. Who are you? Uh, I'm Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. Fuck, dude. Oh shit, you're actually recording. Yeah, uh, we're doing a documentary, dude. Look at this kid. Bruh. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna work on the, what's it called, the, the, the beat switch. Uh. Beat switch? Yeah, put a little synthesizer here for some reason. Whoa. It's dusting. Wait till I activate it? Yeah, I want to. Huh? It's my lunch number. Ah! I'm having a good time. I'm ready to the sky. Oh shit. I'm like a maggot. I'm dying the laws of gravity. I'm a racing cat. Passing by like Larry Good. No, have you heard like the trailer one? The trailer version? No. You haven't heard it? So soon after we finished recording our first session, I noticed something that we couldn't move on because of creative differences were in the way. We tried and tried and we will get anywhere. Uh, it's like a big rock that we can't get over with. You know, we tried and tried, and we would even stall sometimes just to get into the studio because we didn't want to go because we knew that we won't get anywhere. You know, nothing came from those sessions. It was, I won't say a waste of time, but definitely a waste of talent. There was no way out, no return. It was either finish the album or don't do the band ever again. We knew we were going to be stuck from the beginning. Our creator differences was too different. But we needed to get the album done soon. Very soon. I want my stuff, I'm not going to The slower the better. Do you think we? Do you know how to put the patterns? Pattern? Because I'm like doing this physically, like I'm playing it physically. But do you think we? I could, isn't there a pattern? Like draw it? Yeah. Almost like, like put it on a pattern. Try oh, to do, it's try to take do forever. Try to do it automatically, first but the beats is like. The slower the better though. 
Sometime around when school's over. Um, I'd like yeah. you to sing it. I feel like your voice would go good with it. I don't, I'm not confident in singing that one. You can do the rap part. Yeah. Um, I mean, you have the verses. Or if not, if not, I can show you how to rap it, and then you can do it. I think you should do that part. You think? Yeah. Alright, bro. I'll see what's up. Alright. See what's up. Hey, uh, Just go out here and say nothing. Hey, um. Uh, what's up, kitty? Wait. <laughs> hey, promote, promote. Promote Chop a Fit. You know, we out here. Gang shit. Gay shit? Uh, <laughs> gay shit. <laughs> gay shit with gay. How do you spell G? Gay. Gay. What's with the attitude, Brian? What's with the loud words? What's with the big mouth? <laughs> Fake? Fake ass. <laughs> so, uh, so, sir, how long have you been gay? About uh, 10 years now. 10 years now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You should zoom all the way. Just, just edit it out. To him be like. <laughs> just edit it out. Say, say he was, when he was born, he turned gay. Oh, yeah, I should do that shit. I met a couple of friends senior year. Jenny was one of them. Desiree. I also met a friend called Cat. By the way, Cat, if you're watching this, fuck you. <laughs> a lot of people had fun senior year. Not me though. I was in special ed. But here are some clips. <laughs> Before of any of that happened, I started making music in 2015. Nothing really came from it. Until I made a song called An Addict. I struggled to find my own sound, and then I realized that I really don't have a sound. I just like every genre, almost, and that was a real struggle for me and Rudy. We calling this one? What are we calling this one? Chalo Locho. Interview. Interview. An interview. Alright. You. Oh shit. Fuck. File. Save. Ass. What the hell? And. Interview. Alright, both saved. Just farted. You heard it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. It was, it was this. Hey. Can't make it. Goofy ass nigga. Alright, niggas. 2K19. Gang, gang. Oh, 
Hey, what's up guys, Nick is I here, and yes, I know it's been a long time since I uploaded anything in this channel, but I have an excuse, um, I've been making an album, well, I'm gonna make an album, this, like, it's gonna be an old video, it's gonna be, well, the album's already been out by the time I post this video, it's gonna be like, Mm, like August when I post this video, it's gonna be like a long video because it's a journey about how I make this album and stuff and uh, it's kind of weird since I'm like it's like the past and I'm all blowed like in the August, it's weird but um yeah, this is a journey it's probably gonna be the hardest journey ever oh, project I guess project I ever like freaking done it's nine or no, ten songs that I have to do so, uh, yeah, today is July 26, and today's day one of recording and stuff, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Yeah. The girl who was recording these videos, I had a huge crush on senior year, but I never told her. She could be watching this, but it really doesn't matter anymore, I guess. Um, I even wrote a song about her, which I changed it, and I'll talk about that more in a documentary. It's 
up, man? For a documentary, bro. What's your name, bro? Julio Hernandez. Julio Hernandez. Is this your first time? Oh, shit. My bad, nigga. That was a porno. Imagine. Why'd you do it towards the grass, nigga? Hey, bro, no, 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 no. Now we're good. There were many unreleased songs that I just didn't get to finish. This was one of them. Not because I was a fan, because how quickly and unpredictable death was. It was so impactful that the next day we started the project. And the project, I mean, for Against the System. That's where it started, after Lil Peep's death. Because I knew if I didn't start this now, I would never start it. You know, a lot of people have to do sacrifices to kind of pass the torch to somebody else. I'm not saying I am the next big thing. But, you know, it influenced me. Chester Bennington and Lil Peep. Even though I wasn't a fan of Lil Peep, that scared me that I'm going to die with regret. You know, there's, life is unpredictable. So I started writing a song called Life's Letters. Well, life's letter. It was a song about me having a conversation with myself. Well, a conversation with life, if it were a person, you know.
like cuties who? Dang. Especially him. Mm. You know, yeah, especially yeah. this kid right here. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. You already know it. Yeah. Oh, but not me. Hey! 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 Y'all really do hit that hoe. Hit that hoe. <laughs> I'm not next to Thank <laughs> you. 
So today we're working on another track that I just started. Um, yeah, yesterday I don't know what happened. We had a big storm, so kind of like stopped and stuff. And I wish I should I should have recorded that. I don't know why I didn't. It was uh, pretty bad. And uh, yeah, so I'm um, gonna get started on the. Well, I already got started. I just recorded something, but I don't like it. I'm gonna change it. Um, yeah. Let's see how this sounds. I mean, it's basically yeah, it's just four chords, just looping and looping. But I think I can do better. I, I think I can do better. I'm going to record that right now. So, yeah. Huh? I think six. I think. Um, three. Documentary, documentary, bro. Hey, there. Little vlog. Hey. Do documentary, bro. Project X. How was your day? You like this? No way. Two new puffboards. Is it? I like the Puff XLs. What the fuck? Where'd you get these at? Hookah. Trying to smoke a little CBD joint. Shout out, shout out. Chapel Fit. Shout out. Oh, Chapel Fit, of course. I'll tell him to come. He, he, said, he said he's gonna run over here. What the fuck? Does he live nearby? I invited Alex. Where's Alex? Alex. I'm sorry, little chicky. I'm sorry, little chicky. You dead, bitch.
to make a record quickly. Ten songs, just finish them really fast and get it released. So I believe it was released also in March or April, I can't remember, of 2019. And there's a particular song that is one of the most popular I made. It's called The Antidote, or Writing with an Empty Pen. And that song is what made my friends into fans of Against the System. Um, well, not fans, but just like the song in general. I never had anybody tell me, oh my god, this is really good. I was like, what? Somebody told me at school, because I released that song on SoundCloud first. And my friend Rudy, my, Rudy said that song was great. Because in 2019, I was, uh, it was senior year, I believe. Yeah. Uh, we had a class again, which was weird. Uh, he told me... He really liked that song. I was like, wait a minute, you know. I should probably add it into the album. And I did. You know, it was seventh or eighth track or sixth track. I can't remember. Uh, that was the title of the album, The Antidote. Yeah, it was going to be called Writing with an Empty Pen. It's the same song. And that was probably one of the darkest songs I've ever written. You know, it was. I'm not going to get into it. It was metaphorically, it started out with living in a world of hate. It was metaphorically for the world I had in my head, you know. Just bad things that went on in my head, you know. Bad messages, bad just things. And that's what I mean by that lyric. A lot of people think it's about the actual world. Uh, no, it's not. And then the next lyric was knowing that I'm going to erase, you know, knowing that I'm not going to exist anymore. That's what I mean by that lyric. And I'm not going to get into every lyric that the song ha the song had, but those are basic what the song is about, you know. Just a mental illness that was super dark, you know, and it's a super dark place in my head, and that's what the song is about. So there you go. The song used to be called Writing with an Empty Pen, but was later changed to The Antidote because of the incoming album The Antidote. It was a title track, and that's the story. Um, also, I want to get into why I went for the name Against the System. A lot of people ask me, why did you choose Against the System? And it's not because it sounded cool. I, I really don't care about that. It was because my philosophy in life, my theory in life, where, you know, we live by this system called you go to school, you work, and die. There's no time for enjoying life. That was a system that I was against, you know against, you know, working every day for a paycheck and dying with regret that you wish you could have done something better with your life because you follow the same system everybody does. You know, um, being miserable because of what your parents told you that you need to make money. That system I was against against that system. That's why I called it against the system. You know, I don't want to die with regret. Something very deep in the name. And that's what I called against the system, against the system. It is my philosophy, my theory in life, that you can have fun, enjoy your life, and still make money. That was a system that I liked. That was important. That's why I'm doing this documentary, because I don't know if I'm going to live tomorrow. This could be my final day, and that's it, you know. I'm constantly challenging myself, telling myself I'm not good enough. Sure, it's also a blessing, but also a curse, because it makes you push harder to achieve your goals. And 
that's what I love, you know, about life. That there's always a challenge, you know. There's always... If I see a 17-year-old make a hit, that makes me even want to try harder. It's just something that I can't get over with. But I don't want to get over with. Because that improves the things that I do. It makes better songs, better everything. You know. You have to live every day like it's your last day on Earth. Because eventually it is going to be your last day on Earth. You know? And you're taking everything for granted. Because you said, well, I'm not going to die because I'm too young. And that's so... Uh, dumb that people actually think that just because they're so young they can't die or well, you have like a special uh, like pass from God that that just I can't die because I'm too young is that what you're going to tell death <laughs> so everybody watching this documentary right now I don't care who you are you, you don't have to get into music nothing do what you love I've been trying to tell people this for the longest time. Do what you love because you're going to regret it. Do right now. Right now. After this documentary finishes. Do what you always wanted to do. And do it now. And my computer just freaking. Okay. Anyways. And a lot of people you think. Uh, you don't think I will talk like this. Because you know. I always joke around. But no, I really have a philosophy. Like, you know, I really think about this constantly. Because I know a lot of people who regret their life because of what their parents told them or what they heard because of the system they need to follow. Enjoy your life. That's the message of today. Enjoy your life and then worry about everything later. You know, I'm not living life. I'm just killing time right now. If that makes any sense. But. This goes out to everybody. gonna ask the nature what the nature think of it listen to the nature But don't
this part, but I don't know, like, you know, I don't know the pattern to use. Hey, Jennifer. Hello everybody, I thought I should add this pep rally video because I thought it would be interesting to see people that I know. Maybe you see some of your friends, I don't know. I thought it would be cool. And um, I recognize, okay there's Samantha, I recognize her. Uh, I think that's Sarah. Yep, 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 yep. Is that Kevin? There's Kevin in the black. By the way, Sarah, you walk so fast. Oh, there's Paula. Remember, I tried to kidnap you. And you were walking so fast, so I stopped, Sarah. Is that... <laughs> well, that was Brian. I don't know he stands. I mean, there's a lot of people that I don't know. What the hell? There's Brandon. Shout out to Brandon for watching this. Probably not. Still shout out. Pretty tall guy. I farted. <laughs> oh, there's Adrian. Give me the N word pass. Shout out to Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. I don't think you're watching this, but thank you either ways. I want to give a quick shout out to my grandma's watching right now this documentary. She's blind. Quick shout out to Osama Bin Laden. Oops. Shout out to San Juana. She's watching this as well. Sorry to embarrass you like that. Alyssa. I remember her. She went to my middle school. Is that Monta right? Yeah. It's Mons. I think she's watching this probably. There's Scott. Scott Pilgrim. Alex. Jay. Angelica. Shout out, shout out to Angel. Just walked down. I think that's right. Alyssa and Brenda, I think they went through my middle school as well. That's I recognize. Oh, there's Jesus. Follow me back. Miguel. Edwin. As soon as you heard me, follow me back on nice Instagram. I know you saw my my notification. Or else I'm gonna finger your booty home. <laughs> Where are you guys listening to this? This is it's too cringe. <laughs> There's Nicholas. Shout out to Nicholas. Probably watching this as well. Maybe. Could be. Robert. My man Robert. A lot of people that I... Oh, there's Omar. What also impacted me was a band called 21 Pilots. And when I really got into them... By the way, they're not my favorite band at all. A lot of people think the, this is my favorite band. It's not. I'll get on get into that a little later where my influencers and everything. But Twenty One Pilots had a lyricist, a songwriter, that I think is one of the greatest writers of all time. His name is Tyler Joseph. The way he used metaphors and if you look at all the songs in my songs, you won't get what I'm talking about because I'm using metaphors, you know. Um, all the songs I've made mostly are metaphors, and I love that. I love that there's a story behind it instead of just, "Hey, here, I'm depressed. Listen to my record," which I'm not going to name any names, but there's a lot of people who do that. There is no backstory. There's no digging you have to do. And I think when you write a song, you have to kind of Tell the listener, you know, dig for this message. Do it, you know, and it lets you know that they're interested in your music. And this goes on for everybody, any musician, anything. And after I released the first record, Catalyst, 
I, I wasn't expecting much. You know, I. It was like, you know, do it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Whatever. Um, it was a great experience to make that record. It was so much fun. I've never been happier. But that was. 2018 was one of the toughest times of my life. Yeah. It was mentally draining. You know, it was a lot of mental illness, a lot of just bad things, you know, that I'm not going to get into, but mentally I was struggling. So I was like, and this is towards the end. It was from the beginning of the year when I released the record. And, you know, I, I should have died in 2018, you know. I'm just going to say that I should have died in 2018. But somehow I got through it. Don't know how or why. But I did. So, by the end of the year of 2018, I wasn't doing anything with Rudy at the time. Because after 2018, uh, he moved classes. So I didn't even talk to him anymore. So I was, you know, the band was over, you know, that was, that's it, you know. But Against the System was still alive, you know. Yeah. And I wanted to make another record by the end of the year, which I didn't. I ended up making it, whoa, this is an interesting story. So I made a record in late 2018, around December that never was released. You know, why wasn't it released? What happened to it? I lost it. <laughs> it's, it's dumb, but I learned from my mistakes. I lost it in the studio. I'm guessing somebody took, I had all the songs, they were all finished, the whole record was finished. It was 10 songs. And I swear to you, this is the best record I ever made. I was so excited for this. And I guess I left it on the table and somebody took it. So years from now, probably someone's going to release my own, my own songs. I never knew who took it or why he took it. You know, I went back to the studio, asked everybody, you know, did you see anything? Nobody saw anything. As expected, you know. And it was like, man, all this hard work for nothing. That sucks. That's it. I also wrote a song called Symphony of Solitude, which was written for a girl um, that I liked senior year. Uh, she would have talked to me. But came out a good song. Um, so it started in an F chord. And like this, and then like this, and then to a B flat minor. And the whole song sounds like this.
that's it. That's the whole song, literally. It should repeat itself. The song was about being alone, and a lot of people face that, that, that solitude. Not that you want to be alone, but you have no choice. I wrote it for a girl, didn't like me, changed the lyrics, and I wrote that. Which is now like my top five most popular songs. And uh, I could say it worked out pretty well. It was a bonus track on the antidote, so that was cool. Um, you remaster it, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's nothing else to talk about that song. It was just simple, cool little song. flax because I was supposed to go to Wedgwood Middle but there was too many students enrolled so I decided to go to McLean Middle. Did you have a good day? Yes I did. All right, all right. This is Dr. Sutherland, our school board member. Ladies, come over here. Come meet us. How are you? What's your name? Cynthia, what grade are you in? Eighth grade. Oh my goodness, this is your last year in McLean. And you are? Nice to meet you, Alex. What grade are you in? Wonderful. Did you have a good day at school? Good. Good job. My first day was, it was decent. It was fun though. We learned what the basics were, like simply how the school year is going to go. And I'm pretty psyched about the school year. We learned about all our teachers and what we're doing in those classes this year. And there, I met him in art class. Uh, first period, I remember. I don't remember how the conversation went, but uh, it was probably something cringy. And I remember we had it immediately clicked. You know, we both had common interest, and yeah, I had later in years we started the project. You know, we were deciding between. Um, I think it was one word, yeah, or against the system, and he wanted to go one word, and I, and I get it, and I don't know, I, I was kind of on the edge if I even wanted to have that type of name, yeah, uh, but I was like, okay, whatever, you know, it's cool, I guess, and we started on the project, and you know, we we stalled for a lot of years, you know. The project was supposed to start freshman year. We ended up starting it senior year, really started it. So we stalled and stalled and stalled. It was until Chester Bennington died that I realized this has to be done now. And it also impacted me hard you know it, it it changed the way I looked at things new perspective for the first yeah. Yeah.
Mic check. Mic check. What the hell? I can't hear anything. What the hell? Mic check, mic check, mic check. What the hell? I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> it's not even plugged in. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Day one of recording. And uh, it's going perfect. Shardy with a melody in my head. The insomnia recording, like I said before, was pretty tough. I was very close to giving up, but I decided not to. I don't know why, I just kept going. It was a constant state of giving up, you know. Uh, was it even worth it? I don't know. But I think it was worth it. I really like how the hell it worked out. Four months later, I released the first record. It's called Catalyst. In 2018, March, I believe, it was seven songs. Uh, you know, just electronic, everything. Electronic, indie, rap. started like with this guitar right here it was my first guitar I ever got when I was 16 well I had guitars before but this was the first gift I ever had and I remember quitting in 2017 even when I started because you know I, I thought music wasn't for me and I still think that sometimes. But it was this song, Life's Letters, that completely changed my mind. That I, at least I'm okay. At least I'm alright. So, it started in a C chord. I remember I just went. And then to A minor. And to this like, and then I went to this kind of weird chord. It was like, and then to the E minor. It was strange, and altogether it was like. Because you can 
Bro, what the fuck happened to this? And then just like Okay guys, how do you feel? How do you feel? Um I feel I, I feel know. amazing. Out this bit. I don't even know if I'm getting out this bit. Oh, oh wow. I am the confidence. Wow. <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> Bye. This is the final product. Looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. In the back, ATS for against the system right there. I guess I'll talk to the last song, which is Angelina. Um, that song was about my ex in 2015 I believe I asked for permission if I can talk about this and it wasn't nothing horrible but it's where I started making music it was in 2015 after we broke up I was so devastated because I've n never felt that alone and I started writing songs to cope with it you know, I started seeing a lot of other artists like Breathe Carolina and stuff like that and I was like if they can do it I can do it too and so I did started making songs electronic you know pretty dark stuff and started a project called Al Capone that ended in 2017 then I started against the system so that's how the story goes why I started making music because I knew that perspective, like I told you, about regrets in life and dying and stuff like that. Hey, what's up guys? 
Max are here and today we're doing a challenge not really a challenge we're doing a video a soccer video and supposedly I play soccer with Freddy of course goalkeeper gloves we have a ball and some god dang shoes so yeah let's play all right first attempt watch this you, re you better be ready Freddy watch this <laughs> No, I was playing with y'all, watch. This one is the one. This one. Fine. I suck. Alright, Freddy, watch this, Freddy. Watch this little dive, motherfucker. Oh! Oh! That's how you make it go in the water. Y'all didn't even, y'all saw that, right? Wait, did I record? That was my first goal, but don't worry, I'm gonna make more. Make a better goal. Best goals in the world. This is gonna be a real one, Freddy. Better watch for this goal. Watch this go! Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is my real, real skill. Watch this. Mom, this for you. And grandparents. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Come on, Freddy. Watch. Watch. Watch this. Fantastic goal! One, one last try. One last try. Oh, look at this. Oh! Woo! He saved it. That thing. Are you now? We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. I'm gonna be goalkeeper now. Without gloves. Because. Alright, guys, my turn now. Alright. Huh? Alright. gonna go right there. You can't do nothing about it. Right there. Okay. Top right. Next time. That was just a warm up. That's the second warm up. Warm up, try number two. Yeah, my legs are itching. Well, that was warm up number three, okay? That, that, I'm, just, I'm just kidding on that one. I'm, I'm just like giving him confidence just to, you know. Yeah, but next time, next time it's gonna go right there. Right there on the top right. That was just a warm up, that's what I mean. just to give him confidence, like, he's not really gonna go over there, I'm just saying that, so he will think, because I'm pointing, he's not gonna... There's a fucking bee, hold on! <laughs> There's a fucking bee! <sighs> There's a Woo! what? There's a bee! There's a bee? Yeah. I'll tell the bee you're the goalkeeper, not the You're the goalkeeper, bee! Ha! Tricked ya!
the Throw your hands in the air and lose a true friend. So the honeys get your money for your niggas like the rest of You gotta come up in your waist, please don't shoot up the place Cause I see some ladies tonight that should be having my baby bag uh, Baby bag I saw that shit. For real? So someone has tried to shoot up her school. Um, her senior year. Um, I still went to school. I was failing. Had a zero. But yeah. So the police finally caught him, and uh, he's been arrested. So yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, recently, my influences have been CLAT 2, which are probably the most underrated band probably in history. They're so underrated that it's kind of funny. I, it's one of my favorite bands, CLAT 2. An electric like orchestra are one of my favorite bands. That's my biggest influences. Influencers. Jeff Lane is a genius and what he does is incredible. Where my musical background lies goes way back to 2006. So I remember the day specifically. I remember 2006, a cold day. My brother, I think, went to Walmart to buy a record. Called Welcome to the Blackberry by My Chemical Romance. He put it on, didn't pay attention to it. You know, I was a kid, I was six. It was until 2007 that changed my life forever. It changed the direction, changed the path, changed everything. Because I remember I had a blue disc player. You know, we remember those. Uh, I remember, I don't know, I didn't have nothing to do when I was seven, so I grabbed that CD and put it on. I remember the first listen, I was confused. Because I've never heard anything like it. Because before that, I would listen to my dad's music, like John Lennon, The Beatles, you know, Paul McCartney, Stevie Wonder, stuff like that. So I've never heard anything like modern like that. It was pretty incredible. It was, I, I remember the first few listens, I never liked it. It was until like the fourth listen that I was just like, oh my god. This is like this is what modern music is, and I got into it, like emo music and stuff like that, and pop punk music. 
started listening to bands like all ranges like Green Day, Blink-182. My brother had a whole like bunch of music on his computer and this really crappy computer it was like a HP something and like Windows 1942 or something like that. That was the operating system. It was pretty old. I think he had Windows something. HP or something. XP. Um, yeah, I remember just turning on the computer and listening to All American Rejects, Green Day, um, System of a Down. I, there's so many I can't name right now, but you get the point. A few, few years later, I got into indie music like MGMT, Empire of the Sun, and stuff like that. And it just keeps adding to the the influence just keep adding mgmt you know and my chemical romance everybody and then i got into something more heavier something like you know like mm, cannibal corpse <laughs> you know there was this band called for all those sleeping that my brother used to like he had the record and I love them. I love their screaming. I loved everything about it. And that influenced me to metalcore. More heavier stuff that I've never heard either. And I got into that. And this was around 2011, I believe. 2011, 2012. And then I got... It was switching from between metalcore and emo. Back and back and forth because I was sleeping. I would listen to Sleeping with Sirens and Pierce the Bell and stuff like that until I was 12. Is that Mark? Yep, that's Mark, the only skateboarder in the whole school. Well, second. Oh, there's Leslie and Alex. Leslie rejected me when I asked her out. She could be watching this. Oh, there's that girl who well, gave me her phone number, but her phone number is only nine digits. God dang it, bro. I could have been with that girl, bro, right now. Does anybody have contact with that girl? Oh, man. Oh, there's Alex. Oh, shout out to Diego. My boy Diego. Oh, Dustin. My boy Dustin. In the red. Yes, sir. Mr. Daniels, and the video's over. Thank you guys for watching. Mr. Daniels got in frame. Oh, there's Lorena. She rejected me too. All the secrets are coming out today. Mm. In 2012, I started a YouTube channel called the Mikey Swag. It was later changed to Against the System. You know? It's the same channel. But in 2015, I made a video, you know, showing my house. And uh, it's pretty embarrassing. But uh, I guess enjoy. Yeah. Let's take a look at my house. Yeah. All right. So first part, the most important part in the house is the toilet paper. You need to have toilet paper in the kitchen. Right here we have a table, we have four chairs, more toilet, I mean not toilet paper, <laughs> napkins, uh, I don't know, uh, look at all this, look at all this, look at all this toilet paper. We have a marker, of course, you need to um, protect yourself, to mark uh, thieves or whatever. Uh, we have a TV, a little nice TV, it's pretty small but it's okay, I'm just watching. I don't know. <laughs> So, we have, of course, some very important item in the house, a banana. You can pretty much get this anywhere, like Walmart or, or uh, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty good. Not really, because I don't eat bananas. Sometimes I do. I don't. Uh, we have uh, this little, what is that? No idea. Uh, we have... Uh, some uh, tea. I don't like tea, by the way. I'm sorry, but I don't like tea. It tastes like grass, literally. And we have our lemon. Uh, I don't know where. Okay, I don't. I don't even know. We have coffee in here, which I drink. 
That was my breakfast. Uh, what else? Well, they, this kitchen is really dirty, so I have to clean it up. So, yeah, not really. I'm not cleaning it up. Never. I'm just kidding. Uh, we have a root. No, I don't even. I don't even want to go there. Look at all that trash. It's like the dirtiest place ever. So I was too busy uh, editing videos right there. Not really. Uh, this one, this one is pretty clean. We have a big TV, well, medium-sized TV. It's, it's cool. It's nice to watch uh, games or I don't know. Uh, let's take a look outside. I hope it's not too bright. It probably is. We have. Uh, uh, oh, no, we're not gonna look over there. <laughs> um, I don't know. But uh, let's walk around. Yeah. We have our calendar. Like. Look at this! Look at this calendar! It's like the ratchet calendar. Look at this ratchet calendar. It's crazy. Oh, I forgot to show you. Uh, we have a turtle, which is very dirty. <laughs> uh, we have. What else? We have a little couch right here. We have a chair with a payday. Have, you ever do have any of you guys played this game? Payday. This game right here. Payday. I don't even... I don't even play. I don't know. We have, uh... Oh, crap. Stop. We have, uh... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. We have this set of... Uh, I don't know what this is. It's my weapon. If a burglar comes in, they just whack him. Like I'm riding the dingleberries. So, uh, yeah. It's never coming in anyway, so. We don't have anything to rob, so. I mean, what is he gonna rob? This? He's gonna rob this? We don't have anything in this house. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? We have a uh, little decorations. Have a uh, car. It's this car right here. I don't know. Elephants. Uh,. This little car. I used to play with this man a long time ago. It's pretty cool. Got it for Christmas when I was like ten or so. Um, I think that's basically it. <laughs> Besides, I mean, I have other rooms, but I don't, I don't know if I should show you. But I don't know. I'm gonna do another vlog later. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and peace. That same year, I started making music. So that was a very important year for me, 2015. We la later moved to a new house. And, um, yeah, I started a project called Al Capone. Ended in 2017, quit music. Then Chester Bennington died and Lil Peep. Then the day after Lil Peep died, it started against the system. And that's it. Yeah, until today. Yeah. I didn't get pussy. I just made out with her. That's it. And as we were driving back, this as we were driving back, Crystal wasn't like, Eric, did you leave? And I was like, no. Keep the beat up, let's drop the beat down It's my party, dance if I want to We can get crazy, let it all out Yes And your number, beautiful Hey, machine roared, but she's working Hey, whenever, whenever we're driving off I'm gonna ask them if they can spot me a condom Dude, I don't know Hey man, I'm finna fight this bitch. I'm fighting you like you got a condom like a bomb, bro. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. If we had better connections, we could have been with us. Nah, it's all good. Dude, I was fucking scared. But I was thinking it gave Eric $50 for to get in front of us. You serious? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Hey bro, no, 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 no. Now we're good. Oh, shit.
That looks fucking badass. Hey man, it's me, Hector. Uh, just want to tell you I'm ready for these albums, man. Um, just got a completely new sound, nothing that sounds like a Kansas system or be prepared shit. So I'm excited. Hopefully you feel the same way. Um, and yeah, just send me beats or anything you come up with, piano, whatever, so I can match your thing. Or you can match my thing, I'll send you pianos or beats or whatever. And uh, yeah, all this is going to a documentary, by the way. So yeah. I immediately got started on this project, writing new songs, new material, and going in a different direction. It was tough, but I made it work. And the other guys, I don't know what they were doing, but I was putting in work. In fact, I even started a good song, and uh, here it is. So Rudy was the one who told me about like the band. He said he wanted to get back together uh, during a face call, I believe. And uh, I thought about it, and the next day I hit him up wanting to start this band. But I, I wanted a three-piece. I really don't know why. I just woke up with this dream wanting to do it, that this is the time to do it. And it happens a lot of often with songs that I just come up with dreams and stuff. But anyways, uh, I wanted a three-piece band. So I didn't know who to ask. So I asked Isaiah. He was a really talented producer. And uh, yeah. Masturbation is a sin. Mm. Masturbation is a sin. So if I ever end up dying, give this to a musician that knows music, because I have a lot of good ideas here. It's just a poster with old songs.
Violence, Letters to God. That's 2017. Album 2017. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. This is the album that got stolen. <laughs> so. Got some lyrics. More lyrics. More lyrics. But what really is important is this. Hold on. Let me try to find a page here. Right there. Nope. 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 I think this is the next one. This page right here. Give this to a musician and they'll thank me. So if I ever die, I give this to a musician. These are chords. The best chords that I can find. Look, you got C, E, A minor, F minor. That's Angelina. It's one of the chord progression. C, E7, A minor, F minor is uh, Eclipse. The song Eclipse. F, A7, D minor, B flat minor is, what is it called? From Paper Parachute, I totally forgot the name of the song. G, B, C, C minor. It's a, a new song that I'm working on. So yeah, these are the best chord progressions. This is going to be worth a million dollars when I die. Nah, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. There's some in the back too. Oh, it's not what it looks like, I think. Yes, yeah, for the glasses. To clean the glasses. Superman? No, Italics. Superman, you ready? You ready for this? I don't know. Hey, finna pass out? Fucking Gothic. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Finna be for Superman. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Can I touch that booty? That booty? That big old booty? Big Black Nigga Balls HD free download no viruses dot com Alright guys thanks for watching documentary